Have you noticed how crazy the Australian housing market has been lately? Prices have been skyrocketing in most major cities, which is great news if you're a homeowner. It also means that a lot of people are considering turning their homes into investment properties. Are you considering it too? Hi everyone, it's Tuan from Duotax, here with another video designed to help you become a smarter property investor. If you've ever thought about turning your home into an investment property, you would know that it could be a smart financial move. Imagine having rental income coming in to cover your mortgage and other expenses. And if you're strategic about it, you could even save up for retirement. Of course, there are some risks to consider, but with a little research and planning, you can minimize them and make them work for you. So, it's worth thinking about it, right? But, as a property investor myself, I've learned a fair bit along the way and I wanted to share some of it with you before you make the switch from being an owner occupier to an investor. So, here are my five top considerations. Number one, make sure you can afford to have and maintain an investment property. Turning your current home into a rental property generally means you'll have to find somewhere else to live and that costs money. So, you'll have to think about the cost of having two mortgages or paying rent for a new place while still paying for your old home. And don't forget about the cost of repairs and maintenance for your rental property, which might not be fully covered by your rental income. All these costs can add up, so you must make sure it's a financially feasible option. Number two, is your home appealing to the rental market? It's easy to get attached to your home. After all, it's where you've made so many memories with your friends and family, so it's easy to overlook the practical aspects when emotionally attached to your property. But if you wanna maximize your chances of finding a tenant, you need to objectively analyze your rental appeal. Take a step back and consider your home's desirability from a renter's perspective. Is it close to public transportation and other amenities? What about the condition of your home? Is it well maintained? Are there any major repairs required? Think about the price you're asking for rent. Is it aligned with similar properties in the area? These are all crucial factors that can impact your rental yield. By being honest with yourself, you can set realistic expectations for your rental property and ensure it appeals to the widest range of potential renters. Number three, you've got to pay more tax now. One of the things you need to keep in mind is that there are different tax rules for owning an investment property compared to owning a home you live in. When it comes to investment properties, you'll have to pay taxes on your property earnings. These taxes include capital gains tax, land tax and income tax. Capital gains tax is paid when you sell an investment property. Land tax is based on the value of your land and income tax is taken from your rental income. Investment property tax isn't all doom and gloom though because the ATO does offer some tax deductions to help offset the cost. For example, you may be able to claim deductions for repairs and maintenance, property management fees, interest payments, depreciation and more. We have a separate video for all 17 deductions you can claim, so make sure you check that one out. Number four, you'll have to let your home loan provider know. When you're applying for a home loan in Australia, you usually have to tell the lender whether you're planning to live in the house or rent it out. The reason being, if you're going to live there, it's considered less risky for the lender and they'll give you a lower interest rate. But if you change your mind and decide to rent the place out, you have to let the lender know and change the home loan to an investment loan. If you don't, you risk breaching the loan contract. So, if you're thinking about using your home as an investment property, it's important to be aware of how it could affect your home loan interest rate and what rules apply to avoid being in breach of your loan agreement. It would be best to call up your mortgage broker and chat with them about the best way forward. And number five, Claiming depreciation can make a huge difference to your bottom line. Out of all the five things on the list, this is the one thing I wish more investors know about. Too many people underestimate how much of a difference claiming depreciation makes to the amount of money you pocket every year. It literally could change your property from being in a negative cash flow position to a positive one. It's such a powerful tool and one of the many reasons why investing in property can be such a powerful wealth building strategy. And for those who aren't entirely sure what depreciation is, it's a non-cash deduction that lets you claim a portion of the wear and tear cost of your investment property over its useful life. A lot of 
of our YouTube channel is based on educating investors on the benefit of claiming depreciation and all the different things you can claim on. So if you wanna learn more about how powerful this tool is, go and check out some of our other videos. But in summary, you'll need to reach out to a quantity surveyor to order a depreciation schedule. The schedule outlines the different deductions you can claim and what you can depreciate to reduce your taxable income. So in a nutshell, here's what you need to take away from this video. It's important to consult with a tax advisor to understand the implications of the switch. You should research the rental market in the area to see if there's demand for rental properties. Consider the implications of investment loans. You need to make sure that you can handle the day-to-day -day operations and expenses of the rental property and order a tax depreciation schedule and take advantage of the tax deductions available. I hope this has been a helpful guide for your decision-making process. But if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them for you in the comments section below. Otherwise, see you in our next video.